Ladies and gentlemen, what a treat now for a special edition of Pop News with Penelope Jean, a 30-year career working to protect farm animals and a national best-selling book. The president and co-founder of the organization Farm Sanctuary, Jean Bauer, here today to talk to us about animal rights and the food movement. Peach, welcome back. That's Jean, right. welcome to the program. Tell us about Jean in a little bit. Yeah, Gene is a celebrity in his own right, yeah. that's for sure, but he has a lot of very high-profile people who support Farm Sanctuary. Ellen DeGeneres, Ryan Gosling, uh, Joan Jett, Russell Simmons, Betty White, the list goes on and on. So, Gene, can you tell us... What is Farm Sanctuary? Well, Farm Sanctuary is an organization that works to raise awareness about our food system and encourages people to treat animals humanely. Uh, most people don't like animal cruelty, but most people are un unwittingly supporting animal cruelty by the way we eat. I eating animal foods usually come from factory farms where the animals are put in small cages, the animals can't move, uh, they live this way their whole lives, and they suffer. And we can make a choice not to support that by, our, by the way we eat. And so I've been a vegan since 1985, wow. and you know I get all the nutrition I need. I've been doing marathons and triathlons in the last few years, and so you can get everything you need by eating plant foods. And it feels good physically, it feels good emotionally. Instead of saying, don't tell me about the cruelty because I don't want to know about it, I know where my food comes from and I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. Would you say that, that that's kind of the only step that you can take? Is there a more a intermediate step, you could say, if you didn't want to go full vegan but you still want to help out and, and, and kind of that's get into question. this practice? Yeah, you know, each person has to do what they feel right about. Yeah. And so for many people, you know, myself included, I grew up eating meat without really thinking about it. And the first thing I did was I stopped eating veal. And as time went and as I learned more, I started shifting towards more plants. So each person has to do it in their own way. There's a Meatless Mondays program where people are participating and one day a week they're going meatless. So each person, you know, should do what they feel right about. You know, Gene is the man that Time Magazine calls the consciousness of the food movement. Uh -huh. And Farm Sanctuary has two farms in California and one in New York State. Yeah. And people can go there. It's open to the public. What would people find out by a visit to Farm Sanctuary that they may not have known about these animals? They would see that they're not that different than cats and dogs. Uh, a lot of times people come out and a cow comes up to them and licks them. And many people say that that reminds them of their dog. Mm -hmm. And turkeys will follow you around. They're very friendly. They're very companionable. Uh, they like our company, uh, especially because they know that they can trust us and they're going to be treated kindly. When the animals first come to us, they're oftentimes very frightened of people because their experiences have not been good. Um, when they've interacted with people on these factory farms. They've had parts of their bodies cut off, like their beaks if they're chickens or turkeys, or, or their tails if they're pigs, wow. and, and that's painful. So usually they're very frightened when they first arrive, but as time goes, they learn they're in a safe place, they learn they can trust us, they begin to enjoy life, they begin to play, and they then start wanting to be our friends, and it's really a fun place. That's beautiful. Absolutely, it is. So you are a vegan. You said that you, you grew up on meat, but you, you made the life choice, the conscious choice. Do you think that everyone can do that in, in smaller kind of steps? And, and how would you recommend that? Obviously, you said the Meatless Monday, but do you think you can work in more veggies in your everyday diet, and that can actually help the movement? Absolutely. And it's it's good for animals, but it's also good for us. You know, In our country, we suffer from preventable diseases, heart disease, cancer. And by shifting to eating more whole foods and plant foods, we can eliminate something like 70% of our health care costs. So eating you know, whole foods, fruits, veggies, beans, um, whole grains. For people who are just transitioning, there's also veggie burgers and veggie hot right. dogs. Uh, but those tend to be somewhat processed, like a lot of processed foods. And it's good to go towards closer to the source of the food. So farmers markets are spreading all over the country. And that's a really good way to get connected with good so food. So what about when people say a free range or organic or, or cage free? Does that matter in this mm -hmm. case? Is that making any kind of a difference? Well, you know, there's growing opposition to factory farming. Um, and so there's a lot of products now being labeled, but those labels tend to sound a lot better than they are. Yeah. And so you have animals still basically raised in factory farms that are being marketed as free range. So that's something to be be so you have to be educated, smart consumers. You know, I don't know anybody who would want animals to be mistreated if they knew what was going on behind the closed doors. Right. And I think that's the whole thing is to And that's what you're going to find in this book, of yeah. course. So, Gene, tell me where we can get it and where we can learn more about well, the Well, the book Farm Sanctuary is on Amazon, or you can get it from Farm Sanctuary. Some bookstores have it. Go farmsanctuary.org to learn more and see how you can get involved and help. Absolutely. That'd be great. Well, wonderful, Gene. Thank you so much for coming, and thanks for, thank for telling us about the movement. Yeah, it's a lot of something that you don't think about. Peach, thank you. Great yeah. to see you, as always. Fun Friday. Check it out, everybody, in bookstores. We'll be right back with more.